Okay, so you want to sell your PC or specific PC components so that you have the gill to upgrade your rig. Where do you start? And how can you get the most bang for your buck? Let's find out. This is DIY in 5. Hello DIY techies, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in 5. The show where we give you the know-how that you need to take your techie life by the power cables. Today we're going to cover the best way to approach selling your PC components. If you find the tips in this video useful, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. First, decide if you want to sell your PC as a whole, which can certainly be more convenient, or you'd like to maximize your profits by selling specific individual parts. If you decide to just sell the entire PC instead of parting it out, you might want to watch our previous video on tips for how to prepare your PC for sale, up here, and linked in the description below. Do some research on each part. If you see lots of people selling parts that you were hoping to sell, or conversely, a lot of people posting that they are looking for a particular component, you can get an idea of market demand. Compare different websites to see how much people are charging for your items. eBay is a great resource for this type of research because you can see auctions that have ended as well as current listings. If you're selling newer components that are still in demand, it might be worth your time to post a sales listing in a few places online. If the component is not as in demand, perhaps local listings with local pickup only might save you a bit of time and effort. So which online sites are best to list your PC or PC components on? There are a lot of options out there like eBay, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. So do your research and figure out what works best for you. Make sure to consider selling fees and how soon you need the money. Trade-in sites, for example, will get a quick upfront quote and payment as soon as the site receives the product. Auction sites or community sales listings, on the other hand, will depend on other people's demand. Trade-in sites are also a bit easier in that you aren't dealing with fraud because you know who you're dealing with. And a lot of the times they even take care of shipping. Now, the downside is that you can't really haggle and usually won't get as much money as you could on other sites. On other sites, you can set your own price, but you have to figure out shipping, monitor postings, understand fee structures, and potentially deal with fraudulent buyers. Once you decide where you want to sell, here are some tips to keep in mind. When creating your sales listing, keep in mind what information you would look for when shopping for this specific component, and be sure to list all of those details. Include the model of specific PCs or components that your component is compatible with. Take pictures. There's lots of psychology that goes into why listings and posts with pictures grab more attention than those without. Take pictures of the component as a whole, then close-ups of the part number or any specific markings. Oh, beautiful. Work it, work it. Try to preemptively answer as many buyer questions as possible to save yourself time. So that's that. What have you got to sell right now? Or what have you set your sights on? Perhaps we'll have our own friendly marketplace right here in the comments section. If you have any additional tips that you found from experience that we didn't highlight in this video, please share it in the comments as well so that we can all help each other to be the best PC component retailers we can be. All right, everyone, take care and I'll see you soon with more DIY in five.